On May 23, 2017, after over five months at sea, the Sam Simon left Mexico's Gulf of California, where it was patrolling on Operation Milagro 3. This was one of the longest campaigns in Sea Shepherd's history and Operation Milagro's third consecutive year in the Gulf. The goal of this campaign was the retrieval of as many deadly gillnets as possible to give the near extinct Vaquita Marina a chance to survive. It is believed that less than 30 individuals of the smallest purpose in the world remain, making it the most endangered marine mammal worldwide. Sadly, during this campaign, five vaquitas were found dead. For this operation, two vessels of the Sea Shepherd fleet were involved in the Gulf of California, the Farley Moet and the Sam Simon. Built in 1993, the 56 meters long Sam Simon can accommodate up to 35 crew members in the 19 cabins on board. Before becoming part of Sea Shepherd, the Sam Simon was a meteorological research ship used by the Japanese government to accompany whaling fleets in the Northern Pacific. With an incredibly generous donation by the TV producer, director and animal rights activist Sam Simon, Sea Shepherd was able to acquire the ship in 2012 and proudly renamed her after him. Since then, the Sam has been part of six different Sea Shepherd campaigns. Opposing whaling in Antarctica and the Faroe Islands, targeting illegal fishing in Italy and now Operation Milagro in Mexico. Over the last five months, more than 50 crew members from 15 different nations have served on board the Sam Simon. During this campaign, the ship has sailed more than 9,500 nautical miles in the Gulf of California alone. This is equivalent to more than the distance from the top of Alaska to the bottom of Argentina. To cover the whole operation, the media team has taken thousands of photos for social media and science purposes and has posted 20 videos online with nearly 2 million views worldwide. During the campaign, our engineers had dozens of things to maintain or repair and the ship engines ran for a total of 2,600 hours. Using our desalination system, our team of engineers produced over 2,000 liters of fresh water daily to run the ship, an equivalent of 12 whole bathtubs every day. That's nearly 2,000 bathtubs for the entire campaign. Over the last five months, our cooks prepared hundreds of meals for the crew. In only one month, the crew consumed 45 kilos of bananas, 31 of avocados, 52 of mangoes, and 120 of flour. The Sam Simon spent 107 days at sea patrolling the Gulf of California for illegal fishing activity and searching for nets. Logging 593 potential targets in the process, our drone pilots have flown over 63 hours in the air and covered 1,243 kilometers in total. The deck team has launched the Sam's small boats 340 times. Having spent hundreds of hours on the water, the small boats retrieved 115 illegal nets and 10 long lines making up a total of nearly 15 tons of illegal gear removed from the Gulf. If we lay all the nets retrieved from end to end, we would cover a distance of 20 kilometers. That is equivalent to 190 times the length of a football field, or nearly two and a half times the height of Mount Everest. Finally, our crew released 350 live animals back into the ocean and documented more than 55 different species in the area. Sea Shepherd's Farley Mowat will remain to continue the fight for the Vaquita Marina and all the other wonderful marine wildlife in the Gulf of California that is threatened by illegal fishing and the deadly gillnets.